Australian Open, Stan Warinka's Great Escape, another Serena Williams rally at the 1994 U.S. Open. John McEnroe said he would commentate on his head if January Simmering won the fourth set tight break after falling behind 6-0 to fellow Dutchman Richard Kratisek. Guess what? It happened. Seamerink claimed the next eight points and McEnroe did as he promised in a later match at the season's final major. No commentators were believed to have said something similar when Stan Waring caught trail Guillermo Garcia Lopez 5-2-0 and 6-2 in a fourth set tie break Monday at the Australian Open, and lucky for them. Just like Seema Rink, Waring caught did the almost unthinkable and pulled off a great escape. The defending champion at the year's opening Grand Slam saved five set points in the tie break to close out the encounter against the Spaniard 7-6-2-6-2-4-4-2-6-7-2-6-8 and advance to the quarterfinals. Losing 5-2-0 was a bad start to the tie break. Warren Cock, upset by Garcia Lopez at the 2014 French Open, told reporters, that 6-2 I knew it was close to come back because I had the wind with me. I had to focus on every point. I knew if I was going to come back to 6-2-5, he was going to get nervous. Just focus point after point. Waring Kaw is flying the Swiss flag after Roger Federer's surprising loss to Andreas Seppi in the third round and the world number four will have to maintain or increase his level if he is to continue his winning streak at Melbourne Park. Warinka's quarter-final opponent, Kiana Shikari, beat the 29-year-old in the last eight in September en route to making the final at the U.S. Open. I'm happy the way I'm playing so far, Warinka said. I'm ready for the tournament. My game is there. I didn't spend too much energy on the court since one week. I'm happy to get the chance to play one more quarter-final. Nishikari did something rare later Monday on Australia Day when he downed David Ferrer 6-2-3-6-2-3-6-3. Only Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic had beaten the Spaniard, one of the game's top competitors, in straight sets at a hard court or clay court major since the beginning of 2011. It was also the first time Nishikari defeated Ferrer in straight sets, his previous six victories all going the distance. World number one Djokovic, going for a fifth Australian Open title, will take on Canada's Milos Raonic in the quarterfinals. Djokovic overcame Joe Muller in straight sets. Raonic, meanwhile, eliminated Feliciano Lopez in five sets. Lopez saved match points into encounters earlier in the fortnight and saved another versus Raonic in the fourth set. But Rayonic took the fifth 6-3 to, to prevent the rare hat trick.